Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a practical and fun Arduino project, using a water level sensor to monitor the water level in a tank or any container. We'll also add a simple LED indicator to alert us when the water reaches a certain level. Let's get started. First, let's go over the components you'll need for this project. An Arduino board, a water level sensor, an LED, a 220 ohm resistor, jumper wires, a breadboard, before we dive deeper, let's take a quick look at what a water level sensor is and how it works. It's a device that detects the presence and level of water in a tank or container. The sensor has several exposed conductive tracks, and as the water level rises, these tracks get submerged. When water bridges these tracks, it changes the electrical resistance, which the sensor then translates into a signal that the Arduino can read. It's a simple yet effective way to keep tabs on your water levels without getting your hands wet. Here's a quick look at how to wire everything up. The water level sensor is connected to analog pin A0 on the Arduino. The LED is connected to digital pin 13 with a current limiting resistor. Make sure to connect the ground and VCC pins of the sensor to the Arduino's ground and 5V pins respectively. Now let's put it all together. With everything wired up, let's move on to the code. Here's the complete code we'll be using for this project. Let's break down the code step by step. First, we define the pins. The water level sensor is connected to analog pin A0 and the LED is connected to digital pin 13. In the setup function, we initialize the serial communication at a baud rate of 9600 and set the LED pin as an output. In the loop function, we start by reading the sensor value from the water level sensor. We then print this value to the serial monitor for easy debugging and monitoring. Next, we check if the sensor value is above a certain threshold, in this case, 300. If it is, we turn the LED on. If not, we turn the LED off. Finally, we add a delay of one second before taking the next reading. Now let's upload the code to our Arduino and see it in action. Open the Arduino IDE, paste the code, and upload it to your board. As you can see, the LED lights up when the water level goes above the threshold and turns off when it's below. You can adjust the threshold value in the code to suit your specific needs. Now let's see how this Arduino project can be used in a real-world application. Imagine you have a water tank that you want to monitor to prevent overflow. This setup can help you keep track of the water level and alert you when it's too high. Or maybe you have a fish tank and you want to be alerted when the water level is too low. We've just built a simple yet effective water level monitoring system using Arduino. This project can be extended in many ways, such as adding a buzzer or integrating it with an IoT platform to get notifications on your phone. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what other projects you'd like to see. Thanks for watching and happy making.